Hey guys, um, so I just got back from the post office and I figure I hadn't actually vlogged in a while. I don't, I'm looking in this corner because I normally look at the picture of myself and it's all the way in the corner. So now this is better. Hi, I'm actually making kind of eye contact with you guys. Um, so yeah, so I just got back from the post office. I also got some iced coffee. Um, and I don't know, I thought maybe you guys would want to like open up the package with me. So, plus is it because there's like something really exciting inside of it and I'm just so excited because I've gone through like the depths of internet hell to get this. It's like my like fall present because literally I'm so excited for September even though I'm sweating because it's 94 degrees here in Brooklyn. Actually most of you who are watching are probably in Brooklyn and you're like, please don't. Don't remind me, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so, went and got our package. Yes, now, yes, now. Oh, the coloring changed. Is it, will it go back to normal? Oh, weird. Okay, well, I guess when the box is in the frame, it's going to be crazy. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Um, I actually met like a really cool person while at the post office. Um, I guess I shouldn't say her name, but it was sort of like another creative person. Um, she was really cool. I don't know. I don't feel like I just sort of end up talking to people. I think I automatically like trust people that are my own age who talk to me. Um, because otherwise it's just like 50 year old men. Also, it normally ends with, can I have your number? And I'm just like, no, because you're like my dad. Anyway, so we were chatting and they are apparently really into organizing like awesome like dance parties and what else? Just like photography events and a whole bunch of stuff. They're kind of just like starting this new like art collective thing. But she's actually come back to New York City to like start on this beautiful path of science and eventually become like an astrophysicist. Because we were both like creative people, we like exchanged numbers. And she texted me to like check the number and I was like, oh, I hope you got your package um, and everything. Because I've had like a lot of trouble with that post office in like so many different ways. And apparently they like just straight up didn't give her her package because she didn't have her actual like address of the package on the ID. But in my entire life, I've never like the entire time I've like, w like lived in New York City, never ever have I had my actual address on my ID. I've, I still have my Washington state address. Um, so I really wish I had stayed, and it was obviously, it was obviously a very specific prejudice. I don't know the person well enough, so I don't want to like out them or talk about someone. But it was obviously them being just like a total. The post office, whoever was working in the window that day today, uh, was being really prejudiced and really hateful, basically. And I'm not surprised because I've literally seen them like dangle things in front of people, being like, "Oh, this page with all your personal information, like you can't have that," and like put it away. Like, I've had so many weird, and I've personally had some weird, like, passive-aggressive conversations. I, it's, like, not on the same level, but I once had this thing where, like, can I borrow your pen? And the guy was, like, looked at the pen, looked at me, and was, like, no. And I was, like, like, why? Like, you're just, like, literally making this process longer. And he's, like, because, like, I don't know, you could steal it. And I was, like, does it look like, why, I, why would I steal your, like, 25 cent pen? I don't know. For whatever reason every like not everyone I'm, there's some nice people obviously but and this was just like a super hateful thing where they were just being judgmental and terrible so i don't know like i told her to like either formally email the postal service um and she's also going to try and call but it's something like it happened once if it happens once you're going to feel unsafe and you don't want to go back so do better post office i really really don't like it I wonder if it's in here. Yeah, so anyway. Oh, it is. Oh, they actually put it in the original box. I was wondering because I was like, this box is not the shape of a shoe box. Um, so this, so I got a clothing item. Wait, have you guys guessed what it is yet? Have you guessed what it is yet? <laughs> I got, wait, do you even know what it is? Uh, <laughs> I want these banners. Ooh, it's in the smell like, ugh, like heaven. 
Jasmine. Ugh. Ugh, and they're all brand new. Like, look. And Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm lying. When I saw the hair, I was like, well, you buying? Because I really should not have bought these boots at this moment in my life. Like, mm. But, like, I'm not even sad about it. No, no, no. Here's the other one. Ugh. I really, really hope they fit. Um, apparently, Unif with this brand, um, which is, like, apparently a really nice brand, but they run a little small. And I normally wear a 9.5 to a 10, and I bought a 10, which is the highest size they have. But this is, like, a modernist painting. I want this to be my artist photo. Oh, I'm just so excited about oh, I have to go through so much to get these. I like I like bought them off one side from this woman. I think I bought them off Poshmark, which is like where people can like trade clothing. But then she refunded it and then was like, no, I told you in the description, which I, I read, but I got too excited and I just bought the boot. She's like, you have to buy it off this other app. And so then I went on both, all, literally I found her on every single like, every single site that she's on I went to and finally I found one where she just had them and I bought them on there and she never responded to any of my comments so I was like I don't even know if these are even coming to me I do not know <sighs> I'm so excited um, yeah but they're barely worn they're beautiful oh they smell Ugh. Ugh. and they're actually not I was a little afraid that they would be a little dramatic for walking around in but I could almost see these as being something you'd wear every day, just like hiding behind the boot. Oh, this is getting sexual. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> she's gonna cry. Shoe crying. <laughs> the shoe cry. <laughs> this is the thing. It like really bothers me that when I was researching these boots, they're called the Unif Choke boots. I think. Um, like you, I literally could not find anyone who like showed pictures or images of themselves who was not sort of like like a long army limmy moon goddess and I'm definitely not that like I was really worried that like my ankles wouldn't fit in because they were laced up so tight on the models and they were like literally looked like their ankles were like this big my ankles are like my big I have big ankles basically what set off me like wanting these is like I was started sort of like about a month ago probably a little bit less than a month ago I started watching the anime Nana and I totally fell in love and right now like Ayazawa who like drew the Nana manga and is sort of the creator of the story um her stories in general and I I just like it's I'm so obsessed with that aesthetic and I just suddenly was like ugh, I just for winter and fall I just want to be all, I'm all like I don't know I just want chunky heels and, like cute I don't know I normally when I get too focused on like what I want to wear it's because I'm nervous about other parts of my life but I don't feel but I think my entire life I've been just like really 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 specific about how I want to present myself and I definitely have an unhealthy love of objects like, even though I don't wear these that much, I'm just gonna look at them a lot. Actually, I'm gonna try them on right now, so give me a second. Alright, so I actually just have kind of large ankles, so I have to like fiddle with the laces, so I'm just gonna talk to you while I do that. Um, yeah, so Nana, I would definitely suggest the anime. I haven't read the manga yet, but I love the anime. And I was just talking to my friend Rachel yesterday, and we were like sort of talking about how at a certain point like after college it's actually really hard to make friends and so maybe that's why like I'm so struck by I'm so struck by like it's like Nana's actually just like a love story and it's about these two women who are sort of cosmically fated to meet one another they have the same name Nana um, and they kind of just like start this like amazing friendship that's like really based on like love and I don't know devotion and it's something where you t I feel like I never see stories that are just about friends because they're like having like dramas and their love lives and their careers and all this and then they're also having this like crazy like interpersonal struggle because they're so different but they just genuinely care about each other 
and I just really like those kind of stories. Um, and they're also like, it also appeals to me because it has this like, they're just totally contrasting characters, which I know you see a lot in anime and in general. Because one Nana is like sweet and pink, and has like flowers, and the other one is like beautiful dark rocker chick. It starts out like they're like very specific and you assume you know them by sort of like the, how they're presenting themselves, but in reality they actually like all are almost the opposite when it comes to like how they love people and like how they walk through their lives. And so you realize the woman is presenting, presenting herself as like really like bubbly is actually the most tortured and like unsure of where she's going in her life like it's it's really beautiful <laughs> like I and I know the thing is like the animation gets like crazy because Ayazawa like draws all her characters they just look like 20 feet tall 20 feet tall glamazons all the time but when you try and animate that it also happens in the new Sailor Moon one when you try and animate characters like that it just doesn't work because they're not really meant they're really like static drawings that are gorgeous on their own but once you try and make them work they're like not cute and then every time someone and Nana tries to hug one another like there's one where like a boy tries to hug a girl but like their limbs are too long that they can't actually like embrace so they're like embracing from really far away and it's like it's like giant sloth hands caressing me <laughs> yeah okay now I'm gonna actually try on the boots so give me a second pray for me I want them to fit so bad I will make them fit to be honest. like a leg. It's like my co-star. <laughs> oh, oh my god. You have no idea how, it makes, how excited I am. Like I definitely just have like things never fit me. Oh my god. So I'm like losing my mind that these actually fit me. Wait, I'm like so excited. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that's gonna be it. I'm done. Thanks you guys. I had so much fun and I'll talk to you soon. Leave a comment and thumbs up um, and find me on Instagram and Tumblr and Twitter. Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.